Oh, the school board days. School board meetings like that might be considered civil come next year when the traditionally nonpartisan boards become just like all of our other elected officials, red versus blue. For the first time, Tennessee voters today will vote in partisan school board elections. I say today, yes, there's actually an election in Tennessee today. I know it's Thursday. We checked. In other words, school boards can become, well, like the U.S. Congress. Cameron Sexton, Speaker of the Tennessee House of Representatives, supported the legislation that now changes school boards to partisan from nonpartisan. Uh, Mr. Speaker, appreciate you being here. We're, we wanted to have you because we're, we're trying to figure out how this makes things better for students. We'd love to understand. Yeah, well, thank you for having me on. I think what, what studies have suggested is uh, actually nonpartisan, you have more extreme policy decisions being made than in partisan situations. Also think for school boards, they have uh, a large budget, most of the time multi-million dollar budget. Um, and so you also wanna know someone's background and what they believe, and sometimes the party will, will identify that. And then the other thing is there's just transparency in the process. And so there's a lot of other elected officials in our state and all across the country who run as Republicans and Democrats, or you can run as an independent. That's what's happening here in Tennessee with some of those individuals. Um, so I think it gives the voters um, a little bit more information about each person and, and kind of what their overall philosophy is. All right. Uh, the, I guess the, the flip side would be that it, it, in, it implicitly makes education political. Uh, I'm guessing you would argue that we've we've already crossed that Rubicon. Well, we have because education comes down from the federal government, which is political. The state has education, which is political. Um, the county commissioners in a lot of places that also vote on the budget are political. Um, and, and so with all the issues that we have in our schools right now, whether it's CRT, whether it's certain books in, in the school libraries, um, I think it's a good time to to put out and have people have more transparency if they're Republican, yeah. Democrat, or independent, and let the voters decide. This is interesting. Within the past two years, have you voted in a school board election? No, 58%. Yes, 33%. Only a third of Americans. Not sure, 9%. Uh, that was our uh, News Nation Decision Desk HQ poll. Uh, is, is that changing? You're a Republican and a partisan. That, that's completely understandable. Are Republicans realizing that school boards are a place that they can grow talent? And does that have something to do with this? Well, I don't know if we looked at it as a way to grow talent. What, what we're really trying to do is, is make sure that um, the philosophies of the school reflects what the voters have. And a lot of times when you have uh, nonpartisan races in those school board races, there's not a lot of information given out. You may get one or two mail pieces. You might get to see somebody knock on your door. Um, and there's just not a lot of information to base well, well, your vote well, on. But, 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 but in, in, do... fair, in fairness, you, mm -hmm. so much of America would say that our political system is broken, right? Because of the primary system, you end up with the most extreme candidates in a lot of cases on both sides. Uh, how does that not happen in school boards? And how does having extreme candidates is our choices to pick our kids' education a good thing? Well, I, I, maybe the Democrats have extreme candidates more, more than likely. Oh, oh come uh, on. Maybe Republicans have a few too. But, <laughs> but really, at the end of the day, it's the will of the voters. And so if the voters want to elect someone who is more right or more left or more middle, that's up to them to make that decision. Usually the voters will elect people that they want to serve them. That's in the voters' hands. I don't think our election process is broke. I think we need to have more election integrity. That's a whole different conversation to have. No, no, um, but, but, but we have the freest we, we and fairest elections in the world. We, no, I, 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 look, you know, it's, I think it was Churchill who said, you know, America, America is a terrible system of government or democracy is until you examine all the other options. But at the, at the same yeah. level, I can't, can't keep going back to this. How is having primaries that, that almost always right now are picking the most extreme of both sides, how is that fulfilling your goal that you talked about at the beginning of getting less extreme people on school boards. Well, I don't, I don't believe you are picking the, uh, the prim, I don't believe in the premise that you're picking the most extreme of both sides. Um, and we're gonna see what happens in this election. I know what happened in Tennessee is all the Democrats didn't wanna put their name on the ballot as a Democrat. Huh. They are running as independents. Very few are, are saying they're Democrats. Um, there's Republicans running. Um, but once again, you have an election, you put but, out what you believe in. Um, a lot of times if you align yourself as a Republican, Democrat, or Libertarian, or Independent, um, then voters can make that decision as well. 
and it's up to the voters. I mean, at the end of the day, the voters are going to elect the person that they no, feel like represents great, it, their interests and their views. Well, and, and clearly, school boards have become a, an enormous uh, part of the American political conversation. Mr. Speaker, it's good to see you, sir. Thanks for the time. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.